How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures. And I am testing out a new recurve bow. This particular recurve is a one piece made by Sanlita. The other day I did a video on their new target recurve, which is a three piece. It's a takedown bow. This one is intended for hunting and is a one piece. So comes with everything you see here, which is a shooting glove, owner's manual, string, bow stringer, string silencer and string, and a wrist guard. Also, these are field points, and the field points go on the arrows. So there's gonna be arrows in here. Here is the bow. Nice looking finish. Very nice. So this is a 60 inch bow with a 40 pound limb. And a lot of times the draw weight is measured from around 28 inch draw length. So for me to shoot this bow, I'm probably gonna be closer to the 50, low 50s poundage, cause I have a 31 and a half inch draw. Has a very nice feeling grip to it. I really like the feel of that. My hand fits in there real nice, which will feel good. Let's see, uh, I dropped this. There are arrows in here. Okay, so it comes with arrows, as I thought. And they do have feather fletching, which is good for shooting off the shelf like this bow is set up for. So we're looking at a 30 inch arrow with a 500 spine. The arrows will be a little bit short for me. I have a 31 and a half inch draw length. So I won't be able to quite hit full draw, but I'll still be able to test the bow out. I'm going to go ahead and screw these points on and then I'm going to set the string up, put the string on. And for the string, I'm going to put the string silencers on before I put the string on. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to split the string and wrap this style around. And then uh, when the bow is strung, it'll be held in there nice and tight. All right, so I put the string on, put the silencers on, and I put a knock point on. And the... Uh, this particular way that it comes has a short brace height, so it's gonna be a faster bow for a recurve. And um, if you want to have more of a brace height, you could always shorten the string, which is gonna bend those limbs more and bring the string back farther away. But if you wanna get as much speed out of it as you can, this is gonna be a pretty fast shooting recurve, I think. So let's go outside and give it a try. All right, I'm going to shoot the Royal X8 recurve here. If you watched the last video I did, I shot the Royal X8 longbow. If you're interested to see that, check that video. Perhaps I might do a uh, comparison be between the two in another video. But for today, for this video, I'm going to shoot the Royal X8 recurve bow. And um, it's a very pretty riser. I'll just give you a little close up here. has a really nice feel to it, nice and smooth. I like the way it feels in my hand. Let's see what we got here. It's nice, it's fast and quiet. I really like that. Nice. Yeah, it has a good feel to it. I like it. It's 
so nice and quiet. It's throwing those arrows out pretty nicely. But it is a really nice feeling bow. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, hey, it might just get me out there shooting recurve again. I haven't been shooting recurve much in recent years because I just haven't had the incentive to. But having this in my hands and it's nice and quiet, I think it would make a nice hunting bow. So um, I hope this video kind of gives you a nice little overview of this particular bow and what you're looking at, what to expect, you know, and give you a little close up here. Well, first impressions, I really like the bow. I think for my style of shooting, I am going to shorten the string a little bit and give myself a little more brace height. I could feel, I'm wearing an arm guard, but I could feel the string hitting all the way up here at my wrist. And I prefer to have it not quite getting that far up. So I will lose a little bit of speed by lengthening the brace height because the string won't be acting on the arrow as long in the shot process. However, for comfort and the way that I like to shoot, I will prefer to have a little more brace height, which I can gain by simply adding some more twist to the string. I do need to reset my knock point anyway, so I'll do that after uh, you know setting that amount. And always make sure you unstring your bow. I'm gonna unstring it in a moment here. We're using the the bow stringer and I do like the fact that they give you this nice carrying case for all of your gear that they give you the arrows the arm guard the shooting thing finger tab and all that or the shooting glove everything so I hope this video has given you a little insight to the bow I'm enjoying it already and um, yeah I would recommend it it's it's a nice shooting bow and um, the only modification I'm gonna make is a little bit more brace height for my style of shooting Thank you so much for tuning in this video. I hope you're going to stay tuned to my channel to see is it going to happen that I get to take this out on a hunt this year? It's going to depend on how much time I get to work with it. Having four kids and a busy life, I might not get as much practicing with it as I would like before the season. We'll see what happens. If not, I'll probably be taking my compound out. But you're going to need to stay tuned to find out is this going to make a trip with me this year or is it going to have to wait maybe till next year or could it be in a situation where I go out small game hunting? One of the nice things about small game hunting with a recurve is if you miss, you miss and the animal runs away. Small game, if you hit it, it's very often going to go down. So we'll see what happens. I hope you're going to stay tuned and if you're interested to see uh, my video with the Royal X8 longbow and tips for shooting instinctively, make sure you check out that video. I'll provide a link for that as well. I hope you'll stay tuned. Until next time, take care and God bless.